Hello everyone. In this video, we have this interesting problem. We have x to the second power plus x is equal to 5, and we have to find the value of x plus 3 to the third power plus 1 over x plus 3 to the third power. And as usual, before we start, pause the video and try first. And if you're new here, consider subscribed and also don't forget to like this video. Now let's get started. First, considering this whole expression, I'm gonna say that x plus 3 is never equal to 0. Now, why am I saying this? If x plus 3 is equal to 0, then it means we have x to be negative 3. And if x is equal to negative 3, then it means that we have 0 over here, which will make the whole thing indeterminate, right? So we are not going to allow that. Now, I'm going to let x plus 3 equals m, okay? So this implies that x is equal to m minus 3. So let's go ahead and then plug this value into this equation, okay? So we have m minus 3 to the second power plus m minus 3, and this is equal to 5, right? So let's go ahead and then expand this. So we have m to the second power minus 6m plus 9, then plus m minus 3, and this is equal to 5. Now let's go ahead and then equate everything to zero. So we have m to the second power. Now negative 6m plus m, that is negative 5m. Now moving this 5 to the left hand side makes it negative. So we have negative 5, negative 3, that is negative 8, plus 9, that is positive 1. And this is equal to zero. Now dividing through by m, we have m minus 5 plus 1 over m is equal to 0. Right, so this implies that m plus 1 over m is equal to 5. And this is also the same as m plus m to the power negative 1 is equal to 5. And I will call this equation, equation 1, okay? Now let's go ahead and then raise each side of this equation to the third power, okay? So we have m plus m to the power negative 1 or to the power 3 is equal to 5 to the power 3. So we have m plus m to the power negative 1 to the power 3 is equal to 1 to 5. Now let's go ahead and then expand the left-hand side of this equation. So we have m plus m to the power negative 1 or to the third power is equal to, now if you expand this, we have m to the third power plus m to the power negative 3, then plus 3 times m times m to the power negative 1 into m plus m to the power negative 1. All right? And straight away, you can see that this m will cancel this m to the power negative 1, okay? Now let's go ahead and then make this whole thing the subject. So we have m to the power 3 plus m to the power negative 3 is equal to m plus m to the power negative 1 or to the power 3 minus 3 into m plus m to the power negative 1. We know this one to be 125 from this equation, right? And we also know this one from equation 1, which is 5. So we have m to the third power plus m to the power negative 3 is equal to 1 to 5 minus 3 into 5. Okay, so we have m to the third power plus m to the power negative 3 is equal to 1 to 5 minus 15. And this is equal to 1, 1, 0, okay? So we have m to the third power plus m to the power negative 3 is equal to 1, 1, 0. Now this equation is also the same as m to the power 3 plus 1 over m to the power 3 is equal to 1, 1, 0, right? And don't forget that from the beginning we let m to be equal to x plus 3, right? So this equation becomes x plus 3 to the third power plus 1 over x plus 3 to the third power 
and this is equal to 110, right? And this is our final answer. So guys, I hope you found this video useful. Please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks a lot for watching. See you again on the next video.